How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn sign stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what are the ways to represent a simple circuit? Number two, what are the different types of circuit according to A. Flow of electricity, B. Path of the current flow. And number three, how does the current flow in each type of circuit? What are the two ways to represent a simple circuit? Study the diagrams below. Can you say something about it? So based on the diagram that we have, the diagram above are the two representation of a simple circuit. The first diagram shows the representation of a circuit using symbols, while the second one shows the pictorial circuit diagram that uses the pictures of the materials needed in a simple circuit. What is an electrical circuit? Electrical circuit, it is responsible for the flow of current. Most electrical devices follow respective paths designed by electrical engineers. Simple circuit, it is composed of source, wire, switch, and load. A load can be a bulb, speaker, or other devices. What are the different types of circuit according to flow of electricity and path of the current flow? Kinds of an electric circuit according to the flow of electricity. Number one, open circuit. The load will not work if the components are not connected or the switch is turned off. Number two, closed circuit. It makes the load work since its components are attached properly, allowing the electric current to flow to its path. Kinds of an electric circuit, path of the current flow. Number one, series circuit. An electric circuit having one-way flow of electricity due to the one-way arrangement of wires. If one load does not work, other load will not work too. Number two, parallel circuit. If one load is not working, other loads can still work. Circuits in our houses are mostly used parallel connection. How does the current flow in each type of circuit? For open circuit, the flow of electric current starts with the source which is the battery. The wires will serve as the passageway of the current. The switch serves as the breaker of the current. If the switch is in off mode, the flow will not continue. The load will not work because there is a gap on the path of the current. For closed circuit, in this kind of circuit, the current will also start with the source which is the battery and will flow to the wires. Since the switch is in on mode, the flow of the current will continue until it reaches the load which is the bulb and back to the source. The flow will continue as long as there is no gap on the path of the current. For a series circuit, the electric current in this connection travels in a clockwise direction. The load, which is the bulb, is connected in a long chain from one terminal from the source, the battery, to the other. If one of the load is damaged or if one of the bulb become busted, 
the flow of the current will not continue. The other bulbs will not lighten up. For parallel circuits, the electric current in this connection travels in a different direction. The load, which is the bulb, is connected in different paths from the source, which is the battery, to the other. If one of the load is damaged or if one of the bulb become busted, the flow of the current will still continue. Other bulbs will not be affected because it has their own path from the source. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.